51. Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have this series and we have to find its sum. We are going to use algebra of convergent sequences to find the value of this series. Okay. So you can easily see there is an addition of two terms. So you can take separate, separate series and we can solve separately. So let us consider the first series. Consider, I'm going to consider the first series that is summation and running from 1 to infinity, 1 upon 2 raised to n. Let us expand the summations, we'll have 1 by 2. That means simply I'm putting n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. 1 by 2. If I put n is equal to 2, 1 by 2 square, n is equal to 3, 1 by 2 cube plus and so on. You can easily see if you multiply the first term by 1 by 2, we get a second term. If you multiply second term by 1 by 2, we get a third term and so on. So it's a geometric series. Let me mention it is a geometric series with first term. What is the first term? 1 by 2 and common ratio. Common ratio that means a term which that means we multiply nth term by that term. Then we get a n plus 1 term. So here r is common ratio is 1 by 2 since if you multiply first term by 1 by 2 we get second if you second term by 1 by 2 we get third term so therefore the common ratio is 1 by 2 we have already seen when you have any geometric series with common ratio r and mod r less than 1 then series is convergent let us find mod r now mod r if you take mod of 1 by 2 we will have 1 by 2 which is definitely less than 1. So therefore, we can say the geometric series is convergent. So therefore, series is convergent and sum of this series, that means a point where the series is convergent is, is a upon 1 minus r. So when you have any geometric series which is convergent, then its sum is a upon 1 minus r. Let us put the values. Value of a is 1 by 2 value of r is again 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 upon 1 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 it will get cancelled and we will have 1 so therefore sum of this series is 1 i am calling it as 1 let us go further we will consider the second series now okay we have some space let us use see consider the second series consider what we have summation n running from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n upon 5 raised to n here also I will do the same thing. I will put n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 and so on and we will find the uh, series. So if I put n is equal to 1, minus 1 by 5. If I put n is equal to 2, minus 1 square is 1. So that's why 1 upon 5 square. If I put n is equal to 3, minus 1 cube is minus 1. So that's why minus 1 upon 5 cube and so on. That means minus 1 plus 1 upon 5 raised to 4 and so on. So I hope you have understood alternating plus minus signs we will have and the powers of, of 5 will increase. Okay. So here this is this is a geometric series again. Since if you multiply the first term by minus 1 by 5 we get a second term. If you multiply second term by minus 1 by 5 you get a next term and so on. So that means this is a geometric series with the first term minus 1 by 5 and the common ratio is also minus 1 by 5 with I should mention here with first term minus 1 by 5 and common ratio is again minus 1 by 5 as I told you earlier when you have a geometric series with mod r is less than 1 then series is convergent let us find now mod r so if you take mod of minus 1 by 5 obviously it is 1 by 5 and 101 percent it is less than 1 so that's why it is a convergent series so mod r is less than 1 we have got okay so therefore the geometric series is convergent so therefore series is convergent and converges to and summation n running from 1 to infinity what we have minus 1 raised to n upon 5 raised to n its sum will be a upon 1 minus r since if we have any geometric series which is convergent then it's converges to a upon 1 minus r what is value of a minus 1 by 5 r minus 1 by 5 but if you write minus my uh, 1 by 5 minus minus plus 1 by 5 so ma minus 1 by 5 divided by by cross multiplying 6 by 5 5 5 will get cancelled and we will have minus 1 by 6 right so that means second series is also convergent and converges to 
minus 1 by 6 okay so i'm calling it as 2 then then let us find the required sum summation and running from 1 to infinity what we have 1 upon 2 raised to n plus minus 1 raised to n divided by 5 raised to n so you can take separate separate summation right so 1 upon 2 raised to n plus summation and running from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n upon 5 raised to n what is value of summation 1 upon 2 raised to n its value is 1 and summation minus 1 raised to n upon 5 raised to n its value is minus 1 by 6 so simply we have to put those values there okay there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us continue it here so value of first summation is 1 and value of second summation is minus 1 by 6 so we can cross multiply and we will have 5 by 6 by cross multiplying so therefore summation and running from 1 to infinity 1 upon 2 raised to n plus minus 1 raised to n upon 5 raised to n this is a convergent series and converges to 5 by 6 that means sum of this series is 5 by 6 okay so example is over here make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye